it's Nadine. For those of you that don't know me, for those of you that do, hello, welcome back. Today's video is super simple, like probably the easiest makeup video you're gonna find on YouTube. It takes five minutes max to do. I like applying moisturizer underneath any makeup look. I love doing it. It evens out my application and I overall just feel a lot more hydrated. My skin's really dry in the winter, so I like going in with a very ultra hydrating cream. So I went in with the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. Then you wanna go in with a primer. You can use any primer you would like. I'm going in with a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, as always, it's my favorite. For today's makeup look, I wanted to stay away from using a lot of drugstore products because when I first started applying makeup, I wanted to go to Sephora, I wanted to buy a lot of makeup products, and I wanted to learn how to apply it. I didn't want somebody to tell me, okay, you can only do this. So I felt like the best products to use in today's video would be from Sephora. So like I said, let's go in with the primer. I like to apply it on my T-zone. Now because I'm not going to be doing much eyeshadow today, I'm not going to be doing any eyeshadow actually, I'm just going to take the primer and put a little bit on my eyelid, especially if you're a person that gets a lot of redness right here. You want the foundation to stick there if you're not going to apply anything at all on your eyes. Now, as promised, for today's look, I'm not going to be using many tools. So I'm going to be applying my foundation with my hands, which I don't do often. But when I'm in a hurry, it's the best way to go. So I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation in the shade 7.5 Neutral. For the most part, I'm still going to apply it the same. I'm going to be putting it on the back of my hand and going into my face. I like tapping it on and then just putting a little bit more around my problem spots. So I'm gonna start blending this into my skin. Now to blend it down your neck, I tend to wear turtlenecks, well in the winter, because you can't do it in the summer, but I tend to wear turtlenecks when I am doing a faster makeup look and I don't have time to blend as much as possible because I don't necessarily pay attention to how I blend my neck and I don't want that to show. Once that's done, I'm gonna be going in with my favorite, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. You don't wanna apply too much concealer if you're in a rush. Please don't do that. It's gonna take you a long time trying to blend it out. Also, try to shoot for a similar shade to your face or a slightly lighter one, but not too light because that's gonna be even worse trying to blend. So I'm just gonna do three dots and then one on each eye. Eyelid on my spots. This semester in college, I have three math courses, so you can tell I've been breaking out in different spots in each video. The stress has been real. So when you go in with a lighter hand, when you apply your concealer, it's a lot easier trying to blend it out. So if I need more, I could always go in with more, but starting out with a smaller amount is key. And then take your concealer and go up closest to your brows. This will act as the easiest way to carve out your brows, even though we haven't even filled them in yet, but it will be the easiest illusion to carved out brows. Okay, other side. Why am I using my left hand? I don't know. In today's makeup world, we've had a lot of brushes and beauty blenders and sponges come into the game, so it's hard not to say yes to all the tools because obviously they are very helpful. When you blend out your spots, go around the spots. Don't go too much onto the spot. And then whatever's left over, I just like to put in the center of my forehead. And I'm taking whatever was left onto my finger from the concealer, and I'm just going right around my nose and onto the bridge. Once that's done, before going in with powder, I will be going in with brows just to give my foundation and concealer a little bit of time to set into the skin so it doesn't look too cakey and powdery at the end. This is the Marcel Nano Eyeliner Pencil, the Benefit Gimme Brow. I forget what shade this is. I've had the Benefit Gimme Brow for a while. This was my go-to product when I had to go to work because I had no time to do my makeup in the morning. It's all rubbed off, as you can see. So I don't know what specific shade it is, but this is a great product if you have no time to do your brows. With this product, it's not difficult to apply. It will set your brows in place and it will give them a little bit of a tint. If I have a little bit more time in the morning, I will apply the Gimme Brow and then I will go in with the pencil. Sometimes I like to go in with the point of it and try to fill out the gaps because the point of this spoolie always has a lot of product on it. See, like that could be enough for brows, but I will be going in with my Marcel pencil just to fill in the tails of my brows. You wanna look alive, you wanna look like you put in a little bit of effort, but not too much effort because you have no time. Next, I'm gonna be using my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder in the shade Honey. 
and I'm gonna be taking the first brush, because as promised, we're only using two brushes today. I'm gonna be dipping into this powder, picking up a little bit, and then tapping it into the lid. That way I'm not using too much. You wanna set right under your eye. Now when you set your face, you wanna tap. You don't wanna rub. The reason is when you rub your powder on, sometimes it can shift your foundation and concealer, and that's not what we're trying to do. Recently, I've also been kind of powdering my brows. I feel like they make them look a lot more natural, and they set into your face. If that makes any sense. And it also helps them like not move. I'm gonna be using my Physician Formula Butter Bronzer to bronze up my face today. This will be where the second brush comes in. So this brush, we're gonna be using it for bronzer, blush, and highlight today. And if you only have two brushes in your kit, that's literally all you need. So let's dip into our butter bronzer. And you wanna just bronze up your face. You're not trying to do anything too crazy because we don't have time. Now for the best trick in today's video, how to warm up your eyelids. I'm gonna be taking that same angled brush, dipping a little bit into the bronzer, tapping it off, and just literally running it on my eye. I am not gonna be doing anything more for eyeshadow. This is technically not even eyeshadow. The reason you wanna do that is it adds a little bit more definition, like your eyes will stick out more, and you'll just look overall more put together. Today's blush choice is going to be the NARS Orgasm Blush. It's my favorite, it adds a little bit of a pinky tone, but we're gonna be using the same brush and dipping into it, the same bronzer brush. And just apply it on your cheeks, and I apply a little bit on my nose and on my chin. And then just swipe it over your lid, like if you want to, it adds a little bit more color. For highlight, we're gonna be using the exact same brush, and I'm gonna be dipping into my Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter, and it's in the shade Lighting Dust and Fire Crystal. In those highlights, you get a more subtle one and a crazier one. Opposite, whoa, okay. This is more subtle and this is more of a glam highlight. So for today, I'm gonna be using a little bit of both, but more on the subtle look. And then go onto the tops of your cheeks. You can pinch this brush, because obviously it is not a highlight brush, to get a more precise application on the tips of my nose. And then with my finger, I'm just gonna be creating a line that's not connected to that dot that I made previously on my cupid's bow, on the inner corner of my eye, and on my brow bones. For today's eyes, I want it to be more matte and natural, but you can go in with your highlighter and sweep it over your lid and you're good to go. You don't need to do anything else for your eyes. For lips, you can go in with a classic chapstick, or if you wanna look like you tried a little bit harder, you can go in with some sort of lipstick. Stick on the more nude or light pinky side because it's easier, it doesn't need to be very precise, and you don't need a lip pencil. So I'm gonna be using the KKW and Kylie Cosmetic collab to make it look a little bit more pink. I'm gonna be using the shade Kimmy. With these, I like to go in with my finger and just blend them out. Just clean up around the edges. To make it look a little glossy, I'm gonna be using the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I love this stuff. I literally love this stuff. Now, I'm gonna quickly curl my lashes and do some mascara. When you curl your lashes, pulse the lash and then start tilting it this way. I'll show you on this eye, so I look up and I start pulsing as I curl. Look at how much of a difference just curling your brow, curling my brows. Yes, I'm curling my brows. For mascara, I'm gonna be using my favorite, the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. I'm using the shade Blackest Black. Use a compact and go like this so you don't hit your lid if you're in a hurry. My mascara hack of the day. Towards the outer lashes, I blink almost onto it. What happens is a little bit of my mascara will go onto my upper lid waterline, which creates like a liner effect, so you get a double win-win situation. And our final step today, I'm gonna be using a setting spray, so I'm going in with the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Also, I'm not a lower lash mascara person. I hate mascara on my lower lashes. It doesn't make me look good, so I tend to just do it on my top lashes. Now, same thing I do normally with a beauty blender. As my setting spray is drying, I will just go in with my finger and push the product further into my skin. And there you have it. The easiest and fastest way to do your makeup. It's not time consuming. If I wasn't explaining today, this would literally take me five minutes. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a like and subscribe so you can stick around and check out more videos similar to this one and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!